It's time to make a wish, everyone. And heck, if that wish is for nightmares to destroy you and everything you love, then I guess we've also got you covered today, too. Folks, it's about time we sat down to quickly discuss both the wishing wells of Don't Starve Hamlet here, as well as the one and only Ends Well, and its horrifying black water of death. One is easy to use and find, while the other, not so much. So then, Let's get to it. And we will begin with the easy one, of course. The Wishing Well. Wishing Wells, yes, plural mind you, can be found in many ancient pig ruins within Hamlet, but I would like to highlight how even these super small, super basic ruins can also house them too. This is phenomenal considering what Wells can do for us but I really would expect to run into them more often in the much larger special ancient pig ruins, everyone. Now, every world will be different, so don't expect to find wells in the very same ruins every single time. And to add to that, the ruins themselves are going to vary in layout with each and every new world, so I truly cannot help you beyond telling you that wells are found in ruins. Period. And although that is true, I can still help you just understand how wishing wells bloody work at the end of the day. Now wishing wells here accept treasures in exchange for healing, and tossing in one oink offers a whopping 4% chance for us to be healed by an even whoppier 5 health each time. Now this is not how you use a well if you find one folks, so don't even bother. And to add to that, I don't know if it's just me, but attempting to bring the blooms over from Don't Starve Shipwreck to use out of well is also futile. As while I have read and heard of them working, I swear to you that I have never once been able to use them myself. Still, apparently the blooms offer a 20% chance to heal us for 25 health. So do it that information as you please. But no, 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 no. Let's get back on track with 10 piece oinks here and their 40% chance to heal us for 50 points of health each. Now we're getting somewhere, folks. And as you can see, when a well actually accepts our offerings, our survivors will joyfully leap into the air. And of course, our health is going to rise. Good stuff. But at the end of the day, Using money on wells is not very wise, folks. Just stick to gold, really. Gold offerings provide an 80% chance to heal us for 100 health each, which is obviously super good and super efficient. And even though a 100 piece oink gives us a 100% chance for a 500 health heal, who in their bloody right mind would ever use anything but gold in almost every scenario? Especially this one. Oh, before we move on from wishing wells already, mind you, know that they can also cure poison. So that's pretty nice, actually. But yes, the ends well. How on earth do we bloody find this thing, and what exactly is it? Well, let us start with finding it, and the journey begins within the gas rainforest biome on the spawn island near the ancient Herald pig ruins here. For we must find and venture through this very specific ruins, only to have to find a second ancient herald ruins on the following island, which will be surrounded by a circle of snap toots, mind you. We then enter the second ruins, and then, and only then, will one of the rooms within it have the ends well all by its lonesome waiting for us. Yes, it is definitely not as easy as just making a wish now and then. Then again, it will still be worth the trip, as the ends well here is a nightmare fuel and purple gem farming machine, everyone. No, seriously, while the ends well accepts offerings too, it does so more for basic resources, and in the process will spawn a single nightmare creature per treasure. This means that you can just sit at the ends well all flippin' day and farm as much nightmare fuel as one could ever need if you wish. But be very mindful not to overdo the offerings, mind you. And why's that, Beard? Well, cause you can literally spawn an infinite amount of nightmare creatures, essentially. Every offering that isn't nightmare fuel equates to a nightmare itself spawning. So if you spam said offerings, the game is just going to spam hostiles right back at you. 
Not great. Control your nightmarish murder sprees, everyone. But hold up, Beard. What was that about offering nightmare fuel instead? Ah, you've got good ears, friend. And what I meant was that offering nightmare fuel to the end's well results in something totally different happening. Purple gem showers. One nightmare fuel equals one gem. However, at times, the end's well will spew out multiple purple gems per one offering. And this process is also infinitely repeatable, so expect an absolute crap ton of gems to come from this. Now that sounds awesome, but the problem is that purple gems got nerfed in Hamlet a while ago, and are no longer accepted by the pig bankers. Therefore, they're unfortunately, essentially, paperweights. Unless, of course, you use them for telelocators and stuff, which you should actually do. For things like teleporting the Iron Hulk pieces to the BFB island, or heck, teleporting yourself directly to the Apocalypse calendar immediately to stop it before it happens. But folks, that's it. There you have it. A quick blitz through how to find and how to use both the Wishing Well and the Ends Well here. Now both have their utilities, as I'm sure you found out today, and both are bloody really good at providing them if you know what I mean. Find them, make a wish, offer something, and hopefully it's for life or death. Thanks for watching, well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!